Hello learners! In this short video, I'm going to talk a little about how to import or open audio in Audacity. This is actually very easy to do, but it's nice to see what our options are. So if you notice here, first of all, I have an Audacity project file and a data folder on my desktop. Now, before I go any further, these two items cannot be separated. Now, if you haven't already watched the, the, the video on how to create Audacity project files, you should watch it. It's here on this in this series of videos. But it's important that we do not um, separate these two items. I'm going to double click on the project file to start Audacity and to open our project. Here we go. Now, you'll notice that this is open. If I want to import new audio into this project, I have a couple of options. The first option is I can go up to File and go down to Import Audio. If I click that, it lets me choose. I have a fun with audacity.wav file that I, if I want to import, I can also import MP3s or a variety of other types of audio files. I'm going to click Open and it gives me a warning. Now this warning is, is very, very good for us. This warning asks us, do, do we want to create a new copy of this audio file and save it in the data folder? Or do we want to use the audio file where it currently exists in its original form? Now, if you leave it, if you leave, if you choose this option, read the file directly from its original, what will happen then is if you move the file somewhere else, that WAV file, if you move it to another part of your computer, Audacity won't be able to find it and it won't be able to open it. So it's better to choose make a copy of the file before editing. And then it will place a copy of the file in the data folder and it will always know where it is. So that's what we'll do. And there you go. So now we have that WAV file inserted and imported into our existing project. Now there's another way I want to show you how to do this. I'm going to delete this track and by hitting the little X in the corner here, which is delete. So I close that track. I can also drag and drop and it will give us the same warning. There you go. And I click OK and there we have it. So you can either use the file import audio or you can drag and drop and bring file bring audio into Audacity. Quite easy to do.